How does the MSLT distinguish narcolepsy from sleep apnea symptoms? Imagine waking up feeling exhausted even after a full night of sleep. You might wonder if your sleep issues are caused by narcolepsy or sleep apnea. The way doctors tell the difference is through a special test called the Multiple Sleep Latency Test. This test measures how quickly you fall asleep during the day and whether you enter REM sleep, which is the deep sleep where dreams happen. It is done after an overnight sleep study that checks four breathing problems like sleep apnea. During the overnight study, sensors monitor your brain waves, breathing, and movements to see if your sleep is disrupted by pauses in breathing or low oxygen levels. If sleep apnea is found, treating it can improve daytime sleepiness. But if sleep apnea is not the cause, the MSLT helps find out if narcolepsy is behind the sleepiness. The test involves five short naps scheduled to hours apart, each lasting about 20 minutes. During each nap, sensors track how fast you fall asleep and if you enter REM sleep quickly. People with narcolepsy tend to fall asleep in less than eight minutes on average and often enter REM sleep within a few minutes of falling asleep. They also usually have two or more sleep onset REM periods during the test. Sleep onset REM periods mean that REM sleep begins much sooner than normal, usually within 15 minutes of falling asleep. In contrast, people with sleep apnea generally do not show these early REM sleep episodes during the day. Their sleepiness is caused by fragmented sleep at night due to breathing interruptions, not a problem with sleep regulation. The MSLT is only performed after an overnight sleep study confirms that sleep apnea is not the main reason for daytime sleepiness. This way, doctors can tell if the sleepiness is due to narcolepsy or if it is caused by untreated sleep apnea. So, the key difference is that narcolepsy shows early REM sleep and very quick sleep onset during the day, while sleep apnea does not. The MSLT helps clarify what is causing the sleep problems so that the right treatment can be given. It is a valuable tool in understanding sleep disorders and making accurate diagnoses.